Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Peace, peace. What's good, everybody? So last video I showed you how to do a uh, how a relay works and gave an example to start a relay. Um, this video I'm gonna show you how to convert a negative into a positive. Okay. So from negative to a positive. Um, now, why you would need that? Let's just say you have a uh, a horn. Or even uh, try to draw a cheesy little car here. Um, trunk pop. You know, you guys probably recognize this symbol on your uh, on your remotes. Now, one's a horn. Now, um, you know, you have you have most horns resting at twelve volt positive, right? So. The alarm, your alarm here, it might not be an alarm that this is coming from, but I just like to use it as an example. So you got your alarm there. Now most alarms output for horn wire negative. So you just tie it into the, to the horn wire and every time you hit the alarm, it goes off. It's going to be sending that pulse of, that's the honking you hear. So this is going to work because you have 12 volt. Now, some vehicles, look like European vehicles, rest at negative. So if you send it a negative, nothing's going to happen. Or let's say you're a different wire, trunk wire, you know, you hold that button down and it sends a negative. If this one's resting a negative, your horn wire, I'm sorry, your trunk wire, if it's resting at negative, you send it a negative, nothing's going to happen, right? So you need to send it a positive in order for that trunk to pop. Um, now, obviously, if it was resting at positive and then send out a negative, then you'd be fine. Um, so, yeah. So let's go ahead and, and convert our power here. All right. So you got negative output from the alarm. Um, you're going to have your relay right here five terminals, five wire relay, 30, 86, 85, remember, that's how you energize the relay, 87A, 87. I like to use 86 as my input, it's me personally, so... Later on, when you get more familiar, you can see how you can use 85 as your input, but I like using 86. Now remember, whatever one is, the other has to be the opposite. So we're already getting negative. You hit the alarm, we're getting a negative pulse. But how is this going to work? So this has to be a positive. So we simply tie 85 in to a 12 volt constant, something that's constantly 12 volts on the car. Always look at your wires, test your wires and schematics, whatnot. Make sure you get a, a, a good 12 volts and not a weak 12 volts where it's going to pull power from that 12 volt and possibly damage something on the car, burn a fuse. You know, um, that's separate. Just trying to show you how to work this works, but you know, always be safe and always know. Uh, make sure you got the right wire. Okay, so this is all that's happening 30 is resting on 87A. And every time the alarm goes off, it's going to send a pulse, and this guy's going to be clicking to 87, from 87A to 87. So now remember, continuity, when it clicks, continuity. So if it's getting continuity from here, and we haven't tied 87A to nothing, then 30 is getting nothing. And I like to consider 80, 30 my output. Okay? Output to the horn, let's say. Now what do we say? resting at ground so we need our 12 volts on this side so every time it clicks we're gonna get our power from 87 okay so basically every time here there's no power no power going down to here right no power 87 click we're gonna tie 87 to 12 volts because that's what's gonna give us our power so in a way you can consider 87 your supply supply source 
Okay. So that's where you're getting your supply. Boom. All right. So we hooked that up. So now every time it's resting, no power, power, power. Every time you hit the alarm, that's where it's getting its power from. So it sends out those pulses. And that's how you convert a... That's how you would convert a negative to a positive. Some people think you're literally converting the same wire, but it's not. The relay does the work for you. So you got your energy here, positive, senses the negative. Every time the negative it comes in, that's when the relay goes into work, work mode. 87, nothing, so it's not getting nothing. But every time it clicks over, because the alarm's sending that pulse, and it's clicking, and it's getting 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, okay? Now, let's just change this to the, um, let's just say this was a uh, trunk wire. You hit the auxiliary here. Let's say instead of a horn wire, this was your aux wire. You hit and hold the trunk wire. It's going to send negative. Same thing. Usually you have to hold it for like two, three seconds. And you're going to hear a click because it just takes a while. You can hear a click, and when it clicks, that's when that click sends out 12 volts. And that's if you have a trunk resting at negative, and it needs that positive to pop the trunk. Now, some of them, uh, some of them don't. Some of them uh, rest at 12, 12 volts, and so you would just hook the this wire straight to the trunk because it needs a negative to work. Um, but yeah, if you need to convert power, that's how you would convert power. Now, real quick, same idea, guys, if you're doing a uh, positive to negative for whatever reason, same thing. Let's say you have a, uh, a trunk resting at positive 12 volts and it's sending out positive, which most alarms wouldn't, but not necessarily just for this. Like I said, any, anything really, you need to convert a positive to a negative. So now let's say that here, we're getting our positive here now, right? So we got to switch this guy to a negative in order for this relay to click and work. So now we got our negative, right? Now, instead of connecting 87 to a 12 volt source, see here, what we did is just ground it you know what I mean which means just hook up a wire all this means is hook up a wire um, drill your own grounds I always recommend don't tap into any factory grounds on the vehicle always drill your own grounds so get a screw here and drill it into the ground and that wire basically the other side of that wire goes to 85 so now every time it gets positive because it's already resting a negative every time it gets a positive pulse it works. You let go of that positive pulse, it goes away. Now positive to negative, same thing. This is our supply. If 87 is our supply, then we do the same thing. Okay, just hook up 87 to ground. All right, so now every time it clicks, now you're gonna be getting negative, negative down here. So it's gonna click, click, every time you get the output. Now. That might look like on the relay. Let's see if I can show you guys. Now these two are looped. Don't get confused. Um, you can let's just literally cut this and then ground one to somewhere on the car and ground the other one to the car. But since they're playing the same role, that's why I've just done this. Okay. So don't get confused by that. Okay. Now let's say this is your input. Um, don't worry about the wire color. That's just uh, just using that. But that's your input, okay? Input is uh, positive on this last last example, but it could be negative. Um, anyway, so positive, got negative ground, okay, to power the relay. The top's your supply. So every time it clicks, it gets the supply from the top. And sends it out to 30. Which could be this guy. Alright. Alright guys, that's my video on how to convert powers. Um, if you need uh need or have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. And um, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I'll try to show how to convert a weak negative 
to a stronger positive. I'm sorry, a weak negative into a stronger negative. And a weak positive to a strong positive. Alright guys, peace.